Hi everyone, in today's video we will learn how to retrieve data from the Reddit database using two different methods, download from Studio 3T and using a Python code. We first need to connect our VPN and putty and then Studio 3T. Right here we can see all the collections we have for the Reddit database. First let's check 2005 and we can see here in the com documents that we only had 1,075 comments for this month. So that's very low and we're gonna see as we move forward that every month it's gonna have more because Reddit became more popular. So we will use a database a month that it's in 2018. Let's see June 2018 for example. And right here you can see the visual query builder and I highly recommend you guys to use because it's easier to formulate the query so let's say that we want a specific subreddit so we're gonna choose subreddit and we're gonna write the name here let's say Marvel and we're gonna run this code and wait let's see how many documents we have now 29,000 and that's what we do if we want a specific uh, subreddit now let's say that we want uh, a specific word in the comment so we're gonna choose the body because that is where the comments are and let's say that we want captain in that specific the comment all the comments that have in the subreddit Marvel that has captain. So we have to change here to contains and run. It's gonna be a long list, I imagine. So maybe it's gonna take a while to run. Okay, so let's see. 549 documents or comments have the word captain inside the subreddit Marvel for this specific month. So let's say now that um, we only want to retrieve the data that from the body and um, from the subreddit, I subreddit. And we can run and it will only appear those. So that's good when you don't need all the columns that we have in the database because they are really huge and sometimes we don't need all the information. So when you want just part of the information, you use the projection. So query is to uh, filter the subreddits, the words that you want. So anything in the columns, you can filter using the query. Projection is what you want to see. So if you want to see all of them, you just erase this or just click here and run again. And we're going to have all the columns again. Uh, sort is, let's say that I want to sort for uh, the author. So right here, we can just choose author and say that I want this sending. And then we're gonna run and this sending is always minus one and ascending is always one so all the authors right here it's gonna have this order let's say again that right now we have 549 documents but I only want a hundred of them so we can limit by just typing here the amount we want so now we only have 100 comments. That can help if you want just like 100 random comments from all the subreddits. Let's say 
So we can just type this here and let it run. And now we have only 100 documents, 100 comments from all the subreddits from this specific month. Let's say that we want now the information, like all the comments from two different subreddits. So we come here and instead of match all of, we do match any of. And in that way, we can just go ahead and check the second one. And we're gonna run and we can see all the comments from those two subreddits. One of the best things about Studio 3T is that you can get the query code. So you just have to change here the language. It's usually on Mongo shell, but we can change to Python. And in that way, you can just come here and confirm if your query is correct and it's gonna give, give you the right information when you're running your Python code. The initial part is a little bit different because we have to get all the access, but um, the query and the cursor part is exactly the same. So when you want to limit 100 and you run the code, you can come here and you see that it made the update. So if you're not sure about, oh, I don't know if my Python code is correct or not, just come in here, use this uh, query builder and check the query code and you're going to make sure that your Python code is correct. After we get our results in this case the information the comments from those two subreddits we can export directly from studio 3t using the export function here we're going to use the current query result and we're going to export to csv because we're going to use csv files in the future finish it will open a new window we have to execute this query and it will let us know here when it's done. After the export is finished, you can come here to check where your file is. So this is the path where your file will be and you can go ahead and check there. And at that path, you're gonna have the find query uh, file and you can just open to see if you have all the information you need and how it is transform to a CSV file. It's exactly the same table with all the information we selected that we want. If you select that you only want the body, only the body will be exported. Now I encourage you to go ahead and try different queries and see the different results you will get and try to export the files using this method. Next, we'll check how to download data using the python code we start our python code by importing the packages we need config parser time pandas pymongo mongo client and date time then we read the configuration file the configuration file will be provided to you you just need to change your username and password all the other information is already correct to connect us to the Reddit database. Then we need to provide the path for the file with your information. Please provide the full path in order to avoid any errors. Then we make the connection with the Mongo database. We don't need to change this part. It will get the information from your config file to get access to our database. After the connection is established, we can specify the database and the collection. In our case, the database will always be client.reddit and the collection can be changed. This is only to keep track of the time and the important part is the query. You can get this directly from Studio 3T as I showed. In this case, we are uh, exporting some information from the subreddits Marvel and Relationship Advice. We want the subreddit and the body columns, and the subreddit will be descend in the descending order. Also, we we'll limit here to 100 comments only, so it won't get too big. 
But in this part, you can just copy directly from Studio 3T or you can type in the information you want. In this case, we used OR because we want the information from both subreddits. If you only need one subreddit, you can just erase this part. And if you don't want, you don't need to change to N. But if you need the information from the subreddit Marvel and only the comments in the body that contains relationship, you will need to change to end. Okay, and this will print the total comments that we're gonna have in this selection. And after that, we're gonna write the information from those comments into a pandas data frame. Then later, we're gonna export the data frame to a CSV file using docs to CSV because docs are the name that we use for the data frame. And we're gonna print the total time. Let's run and see what we got here. So we got a total of 100 comments because we're limited here. And we have our file export, the name is subreddit.csv. We can just check that file and see if it has the information we want. Okay, here we got the subreddit.csv and we have the information of the body, the common, and the subreddit. It always comes with uh, the ID in duplicate. So if you don't need that information, you just have to delete. If we have chosen more columns, they would all appear here, just like in the example that we did in Studio 3T. If you need any help, please let me know.